How to Become a Microsoft Certified Trainer, MCT, Latest Update for August 11, 2025. We checked in with Microsoft's Instructional Skills Certificate Provider Program this morning to ensure this information is the latest. We'll provide further update videos as soon as we're aware of fresh updates. Please subscribe now to keep up to date. There is a real opportunity to achieve the MCT at minimal cost at the moment. The reason for this is that the MCT program enrollment tool is offline for maintenance and for a very limited period Microsoft are waiving the MCT application fee. The fee may be reinstated at any moment but at the time of publishing there is a window of opportunity to achieve the MCT for the least outlay. We would suggest taking immediate advantage of this. Please note that this video is only relevant to first-time MCT applicants. Anyone renewing their MCT should contact Microsoft directly. We send our best wishes to all MCTs as we've spent a couple of decades in role and we understand the value you bring. If you've not already done so, please view Trainex's How to Become a Microsoft Certified Trainer MCT on YouTube. The information in this update builds upon the main video's content. As you can see in the screenshot from this morning, the MCT program enrollment tool is temporarily offline. In its place is a manual process and we describe it in this video. Microsoft updated the list of instructional skills certificate providers on July 29, 2025. On this page, which we've simplified to display, you'll see that there is a direct link to Trainex from Microsoft, identifying us as an approved instructional skills certificate provider. We've put the link in the details section of this YouTube video. Microsoft require us to utilize very specific wording in this video to ensure that Microsoft's procedure and the context for it is entirely clear. We'll present the full version in a moment but here's a quick overview. Prospective MCTs need to contact Trainex before applying to Microsoft. On completion of Trainex's professional technical trainer course, with the candidate's permission, Trainex will inform Microsoft of the candidate's success. Trainex's course is recognized by Microsoft and maps to their instructional skills certificate requirements. New MCT applicants need the instructional skills certificate. The full details for enrollment are in our how-to video. On receipt of the instructional skills certificate notification from Trainex, Microsoft will then be in contact with the MCT candidate. Here in the graphic is the formal wording that we're required to provide. Summarizing the wording, the MCT enrollment tool is offline for a period. MCT candidates can still prepare to become an MCT and simply have to follow the manual process. In the main video we describe the requirements to become an MCT and essentially a Trainex Instructional Skills Certificate and a Microsoft recognized technical credential are both needed at enrollment. Our experience is that trainers who consider how they'll deliver content while studying the technical elements can have a shorter, more efficient training delivery readiness cycle. You'll see from the wording that the MCT candidate must specifically permit Trainex to forward their details. We'll make sure that we've sent this exact text to the MCT candidate by email as part of the instructional skills certification process. Once Trainex have communicated the achievement of the instructional skills certificate, Microsoft complete all further actions directly with the MCT candidate. In the text you'll see that the MCT candidate arranges a 15-minute meeting with Microsoft as part of their approval process. In the second paragraph Microsoft describe that the MCT is free to deliver training but there may be some delays for certain elements. Here is a step-by-step -step summary of the manual MCT application process. The candidate completes the Instructional Skills Certification course with Trainex. The candidate, using the wording shown, instructs Trainex to contact Microsoft on their behalf to inform Microsoft of the candidate's successful completion of the Instructional Skills Certificate course. Microsoft then work directly with the candidate to complete the MCT enrollment process. The main video, the link for which is below in this video's YouTube description, 
covers the service that Trainex provide to MCT candidates and or their sponsoring organizations. In summary, we provide a very flexible service to accommodate the candidate. Our training is delivered in English to a worldwide audience and without time zone limitations. So, whether you're in Anchorage, Istanbul, Chicago, Santiago, Auckland, Shanghai, London, Prague or as you'll have guessed, anywhere across the globe, contact us to arrange your training. The course can be a virtual or an in-person classroom-based delivery. We've many years of experience delivering single organization on-site events for training providers. During the training, along with covering the stipulated instructional practice elements, we also help the candidate to produce a video demonstrating their competence in delivering technical training. We'll discuss the subject for this with each candidate. As long as there is a clear technical subject as the video's topic, then this is all that is required to illustrate the instructional skills competency of the candidate. The MCT program is evolving, so subscribe to Trainex's channel to keep up to date. For your next steps, book a training event with us via the links shown or contact us for further dates, for on-site training and for any further information. Thank you for viewing this update video, we look forward to being of service.